So now we're going to sign up with Pinterest as a business. To do that, you have to select sign up at the top of your page. And this page is going to pop up. Now I've added my email address and my password, so I am going to add my business name. Now we already selected what we're going to put in as a business or how we the business name that we're going to use for our Pinterest account. Now it's shoes for girls. We're going to type in shoes for girls. Select and you have to add your website which is optional you can do that at a later later time it doesn't matter and then you click on create your account now this page is going to pop up and they're going to ask if you want to download an app for for Pinterest and we're just going to skip that for now And on here, they're going to request that you select at least five topics that you're interested in. So let's just select five random topics that you think you could be interested in or is associated or close to your, your market. So these are topics that I'm interested in, so I'm going to select them. Now you click on done and this is your account. Now you've created your account for Pinterest and it's a business account. So you want to go to your profile and you want to upload uh, a profile for your business, profile picture for your business. Now we're going to go into settings to set up some additional information that you want to add about your business. And here you can choose the country, your target audience, where you want them to come from. And I am going to choose the United States because on Amazon you have uh, most of the products are not shipped to so many countries and it's just better to stick with United States or United Kingdom and next you want to go down to your profile the name that is going to show on your profile and you want to fix this up so that it for You want to change your profile picture and you have to upload a picture from your com your computer. And I've already done that. I've already found a picture that I want to use. And I'm going to change this, but I just need to upload a picture for now. and you're going to write something. Now Pinterest has given you a username and you can change that. I'm not going to use that. I want to use shoes for girls. I want to be as specific as I can. Hello. So now I've written my welcome speech for those who are going to visit my board and it's just a short little um, introduction. Hello and welcome to our profile. Here you'll find all the latest shoes for girls from around the web. Please like, repin, and don't forget to follow. 
here you're going to add your location and I'm going to add United States your website is optional you don't have to add that right now and they're going to ask you if you want to create a showcase at the top of your your profile where you can add uh, pins and and you can also do this later you don't have to do that right now so let's continue and on here they're going to ask you if you want to get notifications from everyone by email and anyone who saves your pin or likes your pin follow your boards and comments on a pin sends you a message uh, someone you know who joins Pinterest invites you to a group board and so on now of course you want to keep all of this on because this is not a personal profile this is a business profile and you want to uh, uh, message your 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 customers you want to you want to answer their questions as soon as you can so you need to keep the notifications on if you want a push notification for your phone you can add your your phone number and I don't do this because you're going to start getting a lot of messages on your phone but even if you don't, once you have an app on your phone for Pinterest, Pinterest is going to send you notifications on your phone. Now, even on your, de your desktop, they're going to send you notifications as well. So here you can add your, all your social networks if you, you want to connect to Facebook or you connect to Twitter and Google Plus and Gmail, Yahoo, and so on. Now, this this part is where you can set up apps that you want to use on your website this is especially for those who have connected their websites to Pinterest to get traffic now in this section is where if you have connected any app to your Pinterest account if you've added your Pinterest account to any app like Tailwind or uh, apps that help you get followers on Pinterest is going to show up here and they're going to tell you that this particular app has connected to your Pinterest account they're all going to show up here for now this is a new account and you don't have any apps connected to your account here they tell you that for security purposes if you you want to revoke any app or account that you do not recognize and that is connected to your Pinterest account you can remove them from this section so now let's go back and see how our Pinterest account has turned out for some reason Pinterest is not allowing us to to keep our our username as shoes for girls so they're adding and so I'm sorry guys I forgot to save the settings that we chose on the settings page and this is something that you need you don't you you shouldn't forget to do at the end you have to click on save settings to get your settings uh, saved to, uh, to whatever you put in all the information that you put in so now that you see we have here uh, all the settings that that we save shoes for girls and even now your Pinterest username at the top of the page your Pinterest URL is Pinterest slash shoes for girls slash so on now in the next video I'm going to be showing you guys how to follow and gain some followers and add boards first we want to add boards and pins and then we can look for followers so you have to stay tuned and go to the next video guys and I'm just just a quick uh, really sorry for my uh, language English is not my main language so sometimes I forget the words so you guys have to bear with me and thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to the video and continue the tutorial